Um, when Tim died, he was 56 years old. Uh, he was at a structure fire, a residential structure fire, and suffered a fatal heart attack. Uh, Tim was a third generation firefighter. Um, he loved being a firefighter. Uh, he wasn't important to him if he he made a fire call. Uh, he did a lot of uh, uh, import, important things behind the scenes too. He did hose testing. Uh, he drove trucks and parades. Um, he went to schools and edu helped educate the children on um, uh, fire safety and during fire prevention weeks. And uh, he loved that kind of stuff. He was with Clinton Area uh, Fire and Rescue for five years. He was on a previous uh, fire department before we had moved to the area um, for three years, and that department was uh, Bertrand Fire Department in Bertrand, Michigan. His father and his grandfather were all firefighters, and um, it's, it's on both sides of the family. Um, I actually have a brother and a nephew that's in the fire service also. Um, being a firefighter's wife, you uh, you have to kind of be very flexible. Uh, there were times I was left in grocery stores. Um, there were times that, of course, he wasn't there for dinner. Um, there were times, uh, one time we were hosting a wedding and um, he ended up leaving me hosting, being hostess by myself. He he uh, went to the structure fire uh, with in his suit and tie and um, he made it back after dinner. <laughs> so uh, you never knew what to expect being married to a firefighter. Uh, there were a lot of family events that we would miss because of, of his uh, duty to respond. Um, but you, you knew that you had to accept that. That was all part of, of being a firefighter. Um, I never thought that he would not come home. And um, the day that he died, I actually watched him drive away in the fire truck. We had um, been doing some errands together. And um, when they called and said, you know, he was having chest pains, that they were taking him to the hospital, I really thought that when I got there that he would be sitting in the bed and making some type of joke because that was his character. He always, he, he always had something funny to say and um, that's probably part of the reason um, that I married him is his sense of humor. There wasn't a day that he didn't make me laugh and um, you never knew what to expect. <laughs> So uh, every day was an adventure. Uh, I can say I can say that. It really does um, take a special understanding um, for the family. Um, a lot of times, um, you know, it, a, it's not just the wife; it's the children. Um, there's sports events that you know get missed, and um, um, his work was he worked for General Motors, and his work was very understanding that. If I called in and told his his uh, foreman that he was at a, f a fire and he would be late, you know they were okay with that. So, um, but it does take a special understanding to be part of the firefighter family, um, and not everybody is willing to accept that. So. When Tim was honored in 2008, um, the honor and respect that was shown both to him and our family um, was um, very emotional but it was very honoring for us and uh, when I left that weekend I knew that I would come back every year to give back what was given to our family um, but it also has a healing side to it um, to be able to give back and help other families um, it helps you heal also. So um, I've been back every year. I haven't missed a year since 2008. Um, I've done various positions as far as the store, luminary bags, um, memory boxes, the chapel, uh, um, 
ceremony, the candlelight service, I should say. And um, I kind of have uh, settled into the luminary bags. I'm a coordinator for them now and for the weekend. And um, I never realized at the time we were being honored, I actually had another family member do the memory boxes and the luminaries uh, when we were honored that year. But coming back and seeing it from a different perspective, I, it is very touching to see the love, the time, and the thought that goes into each luminary bag. And when it's done, you can look at that bag and you can tell a story about that firefighter. But um, that's probably one of the more special parts of the weekend for me is, is seeing the luminary bags and, and watching the families take such care to, to, and thought to put into each one. And um, I cannot imagine not coming back each year. Um, even though I come back as a volunteer, um, it's still healing and honoring for me to come back each year for my husband. All, sto all our stories are tragic. Some are more tragic than others. And um, sometimes you can find some positive things that come from hearing the other stories. And um, it just makes you thankful that um, your story wasn't as tragic as someone else's. No. It, it really does make you think differently about life. And um, it makes you think differently um, about your significant other. Um, there's a lot of things you take for granted on a daily basis that, um, you know, you, you really shouldn't. You really shouldn't. So. It, uh, it has been a eye-opening experience um, in a lot of different ways. Um, like I said, you don't ever think it will happen to you, and then it does. And um, I think it opens eyes up for a lot of people close to you, too. And um, I know his department, um, had a hard time with it. I'm, and I'm sure every department has a hard time with a loss. But um, even to see me, um, it was difficult. And um, I, it, there were times I just needed to show them that I'm okay, you know, I, I'm gonna get through this. And they will too. It's just gonna take time. Just gonna take time. I do not know where I would be in my journey if it was not for the National Fallen Firefighter Foundation. There's numerous ways that you would not even think that they have, um, you know, uh, helped us move on. Um, going to my first conference, for example, was the first time that I had flown by myself after Tim had died. And it was because of that conference that gave me that extra incentive to to fly by myself so there are ways that you know they have they have helped us that they don't even realize you know how they have helped us so it's, it's like I said I don't know where I would be without them